Good afternoon everybody and a very warm welcome to Mildenhall and today is a very special video today um, for a number of reasons today. Um, today um, marks the milestone of my channel in terms of um, I've now reached one and a half thousand subscribers so I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for tuning in and supporting the channel um, even when there wasn't much content going up um, during the midst of my upheaval of dismantling Ringwood South and actually moving here. So I do appreciate the fact that you guys have stuck by me and you continue to support me and um, all your comments and support are always welcome. Um, also, um, I, a couple of people need special um, mentions. Um, recently, um, David Atkins came over from Canada and he contacted me um, before he came um, to ask whether it would be possible to meet me. And he, he's met a, f a number of fellow YouTubers from what I gather already. And he expressed his interest in coming to see me. And by some fortune, I happened to be off on that particular day. And he came over to visit me and had a quick look at Mildenhall. Um, not in this, obviously, configuration. It's far more basic when he came, but it's moved on a little bit since. Um, and whilst he was here, um, we went to the auto model shop and he also said to me that he wanted to get me a little gift um, to go for Milton Hall. And so I just wanted to express my gratitude, um, not only in terms of meeting him, but also for his gift that he actually got. So he got me um, a pack of two live side um, huts by ratio and um, the product number is 518 and it's two concrete line side huts um, and that's what he got me so when the time comes um, these will be opened up and given the Susanna treatment and we'll blend them in and put them in somewhere um, not quite sure where as yet but that's all part of the fun we'll get there when we get there so the next person that needs um, to be thanked especially, and the main crux of this video is also um, to do with Alan from Dragon Junction. And he's just been absolutely amazing. Um, I, I've never, I never forget him because he's just such a lovely guy. And I had the pleasure of meeting him and Barbara at the Great Electric Train Show last year at Hornby, um, Milton Keynes. Um, and I did incidentally meet a fair number of you too. And he was the one that got me into DCC um, in the first place and he generously gave me a Hornby Elite which just just really just blew me away. And um, if that wasn't enough, he's, he sent me a box full of goodies um, which I haven't opened yet. Um, I know the general gist of what's inside them and he did say to me that some bits might need to be tidied up, um, which is fine with me because, you know, it, cause some of it's to do with the station. So I'm, 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 as you guys know, I'm doing the little mini series project on it. So all of that will be dealt with anyway. And I'm just grateful for his generosity. Um, recently, I don't know if you're subscribed to his channel, um, but basically he had a clear out recently in his shed and he contacted, contacted me and said and asked me if there was anything that he could do for me and that I could be interested in to make use of. And so for various conversations, we are now here at a point where he has now sent me a box which has arrived full of goodies for my railway. Um, and I'm just like blown away from for his generosity once again, because it's just, yeah, it's just great. Um, it's something that I, you know, the YouTube community have been fabulous and he's been absolutely fabulous to me. And like I said, we are fantastic friends and um, I do love his layout and his channel and he does some fantastic work on there. So go and check him out. It's Alan at Dragon Junction. So let's move on to it. So here is um, a rather big box um, that he sent over to me. So let's have a little look, see what's inside. Um, I have a rough idea. He did. We did sort of discuss what he had um, and, and all the rest of it. And like I said, he kindly. I mean, he didn't have to do this. I mean, really, 
I'm just absolutely just. It's like Christmas. Just some real generous people. So here we go. Right. Well, it's all well packed. Okay, let's see what we've got first. I'll just dig it out as we go along. Now, he did say to me that there's going to be bits and pieces that um, he's going to send me and some of it might need work or whatever and he's going to send me some buildings and things. So, this looks like a, another booking hall um, and one that hasn't been tampered with at all. So. That could be possibly be another building to, to modify or do something with. Um, I'm just opening it up as they come out. So this is another building which looks like a house. And it almost looks like it's in the kind of state in which um, my booking hall was before I painted it, so when I and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's great because it's got the guttering and it's got the it's just got the glazing. It's 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 just yeah, it's a perfect shape. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these buildings because I haven't really planned out the town, but it's such a good quality building. I'm sure I can do something really useful with that. Right, let's see what else he's got for me. Right, he did say, say, say to me he's going to send me some ca um, platform pieces, so he's master off some of these um, platform pieces. That's cool. So I'll deal with that afterwards. Because I did actually ask him for some, actually, because I wanted to extend the platform um, at the main station. Ah, now this... So this is a, like a little ladies and gents kind of toilet building. Now this building here is what I was saying in um, my little scratch build series, um, part one, about the booking hall in um, the original booking hall, the, the actual stonework was actually imprinted on the actual building itself as opposed to the, um, the self-adhesive strips that, that you get, the self-adhesive stickers. So this is... So this is what I mean. This is actually printed directly onto the plastic. So this won't actually fade away and it won't peel away or anything like that. Um, because that's already imprinted on the actual building itself. Okay, so we now have, gosh, an up, yet another building. Wow. Uh-huh, right, so this is... This is another station building, and it's another booking hall, so that was the turret that goes on that. So basically it's another one. Now this one here is an absolute begging to be um, rebuilt um, in the same way. Like I said before in yesterday, that some of these can get faded over time and you can do things with them, and as you can see, it, it's kind of got creases and bubbles and all sorts and also the, the corners creased as well so it's all coming away and it's all faded and he did say, say this to me that this is how it might come but the thing is this is an ideal candidate for a, a for a refurb I'm just going to peel this end off just to demonstrate this to you So under this faded corner, just by doing that, look how clean that is. That's almost like a pristine brand new building you've got there. So that, yeah, yeah, I'm quite feeling this one now. Okie dokie, right, okay, moving on. Oh, Alan, thank you so much. Now he sent me some more platform pieces, which are what these are, and once again he did say to me, you might need to clean them up or tidy them up. Um, so those are what those are. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using all of them, but we'll be um, 
doing what we can and see what we what we need and what we're going to use. And also that's one of the bits of capping that goes on to the station building on the end there. And we've got some more of the fencing which I also needed as well and um, he kindly supplied me with those. He's also supplied <laughs> he's also supplied me with even more platforms. Um, to basically go around the whole layout by the looks of things. <laughs> but nonetheless, fantastic. Um, he did, well, he's also supplied me with some more buildings. I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, it looks like some sort of good shed or goods building, but I'm not sure or what we can do with this, um, but we shall see. And there's two of them, so it looks like one goes into the other. It is indeed very interesting. This almost looks like some sort of um, school or something, but yeah, that is very, very interesting, and it's very well detailed considering, I mean, it is plastic, but it is very well detailed. Um, I don't know if it will come out on the actual but you can see it, you can see the roof tiles and you can see the um, brickwork and it almost looks like it's like some sort of goods building or something like that But because it looks like it needs a platform because of the raised doors it's almost looks like it's had a platform or something so we'll have to investigate with this building um, we have some more fencing um, and he also said to me that he had some, because I was after, I did say to them that I was actually going to do some more canopies. Um, I want to buy some more canopies and he said he had a load spare. And he said you might need to tidy them up, but you've got a few there and that is just absolutely superb. That's ace. Because I wanted to extend the canopies all the way through. And um, I won't tell you what, I'm going, what I'm planning on doing with it because I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to go about doing it yet but I do have some ideas of what to do with the canopy to enhance it um, I am going to keep it in the blue but that's about all I'm going to tell you so there's one there yeah there's another one here he did say that one of them needs a bit of tidying up I don't know which one it is or but the two that I've looked at so this the yeah this one looks absolutely yeah that's brilliant yeah that's exactly what I want yeah fantastic so we're gonna have a nice station roof from the station building so that's two um, some more fencing um, it looks like we have some sort of lay ah so we've got a laser cut kit. And it is a um, platform kiosk, so that could be interesting. Um, so I've never built one of these. There you go. So I'm not, not quite sure how we're going to go about that one. I've never really done I'm sure it's not too difficult, so that would be quite interesting. I've never done that before. Um, we've also got more of the um, self-adhesive backing that Hornby supply um, for the various buildings. So... What I could do really with this one, if I wanted to, is just completely take all of this backing off and replace it with what's here, um, if I wanted to. So we'll, we'll have a little look to see and make some decisions later on. We have what looks like station accessories and people from Dapol. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that's paint, but, but the only thing is, is I've got to paint all of this. So I'm not quite sure about painting figures. I've never really painted figures before, but I might need to seek advice on painting figures because I've never done that before. Um, as well as station accessories, more platforms. Lot platforms. 
we have, there's more, there's, uh, I mean there's still plenty more down here. And this is the other canopy, now, this must be the one he was talking about but this looks like it just needs cleaning up more than anything, I don't think it's anything, there's a few little spots on it but I think it just needs like a wipe over with a damp cloth or something. But that is just, again, superb. I'm so lucky. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. Um, he's also sent me. Wow. Now there's stuff in here I didn't even I didn't even know was coming to me. So this looks a country garage and petrol pump by Superquick. Now I've never built Superquick models before because they've been around for years, and I always found that they were um, quite intimidating and um, I've never built one before but they always look quite complicated to build but we'll have a go we'll see um, also we've got some scale model scenery portal cabin wow this is just the list goes on <laughs> it's like an Aladdin's cave in here wow that's fantastic so that's very modern right okay and um, it's also sent me he told me he had a um, breakdown crane, which I did have actually, I do have a yellow one. Um, but this one is by, it's, it's actually a Thomas one, but it's actually a brown one. Now I was thinking this brown one would go with like my green, uh, green locos. So again, just immense. <laughs> it's just brilliant. Um, yeah, so this, this particular version will run when I do a green theme um, on, my, on my railway, I guess. I think that's that's why I kind of like the idea of it and wanted it. Um, there's still more. There is still more. Uh, there is a um, what's the what's the word I'm looking for? A guards van, a breakfast van. So there's one. And I think there's another one here. There is, it's a brown one, which again, um, I've got my green 24, which I love so much. So I need to get some, um, what ones I'm looking at, look, those little four wheel banana van wagons. If any of you know what I mean, I'm sure you do. Now, when he's told me he was gonna send this, now this is the last of it. Um, I was very excited about this. Um, this is something that I've been after for a while and he said to me, you know, would you like these? And I went, yes, I definitely would. And, you know, bearing in mind, as you can probably sort of see there, all that stuff that he's there giving me, you, you know, and kind of, it's just immense, the generosity of him. Um, I mean, yeah. Um, he sent me a rake of coaches. Um, and he asked me if I wanted them and how many I would like and how many, and I said, well, look, on my coach, on my, my railway, I usually run about four or five coaches because that's literally all about how much I can run on my layout because otherwise anything more than that is just too much for the layout. And so he sent me these coaches, which I've just been after for a long, long time. And I was, yeah, here they are. He's, he's, he sent me some Pullman coaches, which is something I've been wanting for ages. I mean, that's just class. I just, yeah, I can't believe that. That's just absolutely immense. I mean, not just to send me just one. He sent me four coaches plus the breakdown, plus the two brake vans, plus all these buildings and platforms and canopies. This is just, yeah, it's just amazing. So the first one I showed you was called Lucille. Um, the second one is called Agatha. And, you know, they are in superb condition actually. They're really, you know, they're just beautiful. Um, so yeah, that is just so one. Of, one I just, I just as I said, that one of the bogies just popped out. That's just because it just popped out. Um, uh, 
it's just, yeah, <laughs> I, I cannot express. So this is car number 88. And I'm assuming this is some sort of guards van at the back, maybe, because um, there's a bit of a gap here. So I'm assuming that maybe that's that's where the car guard goes. I don't really know too much about these Pullman coaches. And the last one is called, excuse me, the last one's called Sheila. That is just ace. Alan, thank you so much. I cannot begin to tell you how much. I mean, I knew some of this was coming, but there's so much more here that I wasn't really expecting. And I'd like to thank you so much, honestly, because that's just absolutely immense. And um, I don't know how I'm going to use necessarily all the buildings or in what context or where I'm going to put everything. Um, but, yeah, it's just absolutely superb. And to all my fellow YouTubers as well, um, who've kindly supported the channel, thank you once more um, for everything. Um, because... You know, it's just, yeah, to have 1,500 subscribers is just cool. And to have you guys supporting the channel and making comments and suggestions is so much, so much appreciated. And the generosity of people here is just great. And to think that Alan has literally given me all that, plus the four coaches and the Hornby Elite. I mean, that's just, oh, no. So let me turn that as it's a bit loose. So, and also not to mention David, not to forget, once again to mention David Atkins, who also got me a few bits and pieces, um, got me the Lion Side Huts, and also just great to meet him. Um, as it's been great over the years to meet a lot of you too. So, thank you to you all for tuning in today. Thank you to Alan for my whole box of gifts, which will keep me entertained for hours. And, also for all of you guys for watching and commenting and subscribing. So until the next time, it's goodbye from Milden Hall. Bye bye.